This video will cover the topic interpreting the parameters of a linear function that models a real world situation. For our first problem, we'll be using this example. A construction crew is lengthening a road. Let y represent the total length of the road in miles. Let x represent the number of days the crew has worked. Suppose that x and y are related by the equation y equals 53 plus 4x. We need to solve two problems. The first one asks, what was the road's length when the crew started working? The second one asks, what is the change in the road's length per day? This is so hard. I don't even know where to start. Can you please repeat that story so that I can write down all the details? Relax. All the details that we need were given in the equation. Wait, really? Yes, if we look at our first question, it is asking what is the road's length when the crew started working. How would we find the starting length? Well, we know that x represents the number of days the crew works on the road. This means that the question is looking for the length of the road on day 0. If we were to plug in 0 to our equation, we would get... 53. This means that the length of the road when the crew started working is 53 miles. Okay, I'm starting to get it, but what about the second question? If we look at our second question, it is asking for the change in the road's length per day. Yeah, how would we find the change in the road's length? Think about it. What represents change in our equation? Uh, the slope? Exactly! Our slope in this word problem represents the change in the road's length per day. This means that our answer for the second question is 4 miles per day. So, basically, when looking at the word problem, when the question asks for the starting point, we let x equal 0 in our equation. When the question is asking for the change, then we would write down the slope as our answer. Now you're getting it.